Hey everyone, it's Corinne. Welcome to today's core workout. It is short and sweet. No equipment's needed, so make your way onto your mat and let's get into it. Exercise one, double leg stretch with tuck up. Reach your arms overhead and send your feet to the bottom edge of your mat. Bend and re-extend your knees before curling up into a ball shape, bringing your chest towards your thighs. Keep your legs squeezed together and think about lengthening the back of your ribs and lower back towards the mat. Lastly, keep your rib cage closed and your gaze on your thighs at all times. Let's set up the next exercise, the windmill. Place your hands behind your head, look towards your thighs and lift your shoulders off the floor. Split your legs, bringing one leg up and the opposite leg forward. Now that we're in position, move one leg to the right and the opposite leg to the left. It's almost like a semicircle and then reverse. This exercise is all about stability and control. The only thing that should be moving here are your legs. If you are struggling to stabilize, I'd recommend to make the circles smaller. up we have a military sit up lie on your back knees bent feet flat on the floor cross your arms over your chest and begin to sit yourself up and then lie yourself back down this sit up variation is super challenging as there's no assistance from your arms if you need to use your arms no problem as you lie down allow your arms to reach overhead and as you sit up reach your arms towards your feet are now going into a plank with knee drive starting on the right side. You come into plank and raise your right leg. From there, drive your knee towards your chest before reversing and sending your foot right back to the wall behind you. As your leg comes in, think nose to knee, knee to nose, and as your leg goes away, think about reaching the crown of your head to the wall in front of you. Change sides. Next up, we have a combo, so it's going to be one good morning with some extra back activation. Let's start with the good mornings. Elbows wide, hands behind your head. We are hinging at the hips in three, two, and one. Hinge at the hips, tiny micro bend at your knees, and then reverse to stand. Let's go again. I'll talk you through it as we go. Find your flat back. As you get there, reach your arms forward into a Y, out to the sides to a T, elbows into your waist into a W. Place your hands behind your head and then stand and repeat. Be sure to squeeze your glutes every time you stand. Use your back muscles to pull your shoulders down and back.
The last exercise in this round is a roll over. Start on your back, legs extended out to about 45 degrees. Bring your legs over your chest and reach your feet back to the wall behind you whilst peeling your pelvis and spine off of the floor. Stop at the tip of your shoulders before rolling back down bone by bone right back into your start position. Only bring your legs down as low as you can control and make sure you're not rolling onto your neck. For extra support, bend your elbows and place your hands on your pelvis. You can also change the exercise and do a reverse crunch if this isn't working for you today. Round two is about to start. The exercises are going to stay the same, but this time we flow for 60 seconds and there is no rest between exercises. Get ready. Exercise one, double leg stretch with tuck up. Now, obviously it is round two. You know I'm gonna ask for a level up. Perhaps your legs are going down lower or maybe you're peeling your chest up higher. It is so important to keep looking at ways that we can improve and to keep challenging ourselves. straight into the windmill. Now remember, stability is the name of the game. Move as slowly as you need to. There is honestly no rush. I feel like with these type of exercises, the slower you move, the harder it is. Now for the military sit-ups, really try to roll off the floor bone by bone. Just like the rollover exercise, this is a great one for working on spinal articulation while strengthening our abs. And I'm talking upper abs, lower abs and obliques. We are not playing games today. the plank with knee drive so remember nose to knee and knee to nose now as we are trying to level up let's introduce the principle of pelvic stability no rotation of your pelvis your hip bones are facing the floor the whole time working with such precision and control will really strengthen your obliques and your back muscles Onto the opposite side. Get 
get ready to stand in three, two, one. Good mornings with YTW. As you hinge forwards, do not let the shape of your back change, so no hunching, you're keeping your back muscles active. Ground down through all parts of your feet, make sure you're pressing through the right and left side equally. Lastly, don't forget to squeeze your glutes every time you stand. If you've got a desk job or perhaps you sit down a lot just because of your lifestyle, you may find your glutes need that extra reminder. Lie on your back and let's go straight into the rollover or perhaps your modification of a reverse crunch. Try to keep a consistent pace the whole way through. The movement should be initiated from your abs rather than your legs. Use your inner thighs, so squeeze your legs together and keep your glutes active, especially as your legs lower. We are about to go into the last exercise, which will be a hollow hold. The next time your legs come down, hold them as low as you can control, lift your head, neck and shoulders up and stay. Breathe in, breathe out. You might be holding the movement, but you're not holding your breath. Cover, yes. Well done, everyone. Lie on your back, and when you're ready, find a bridge. So lift your hips up into the air, squeeze your glutes, and then just start to roll your spine down bone by bone. When you're ready, hug your knees in towards your chest, rock your body from side to side, and then roll yourself up. And that marks the end of another workout. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope to move with you again on the mat soon.